Hello, I have a Pico 4 VR headset to show you. So this box is completely sealed. So uh, I haven't had a peek inside. This is as new to me as it may be to you as well. Uh, but yeah, VR headset, Pico 4 with uh, standalone headsets and two controllers. On the back, we can see there's a few games listed which are available on uh, their Pico store basically. So here's a whole ecosystem of games. Uh, that's available, but let's get in this box because I, I want to see what's inside. Because I've never used one of these, so I'm very excited. But I have used VR headsets and I like VR, so uh, let's tear this thing open. That's very satisfying. So, how do we open the box? Wow, it's just a sleeve, so uh, let's uh, do that. And uh, there's a lid. Oh, lovely. Okay, and we have some. Let's move out of the way for the moment and have a look at these accessories. So, let's see what's in here. Right, that's how that comes out. You can see that's the box. Okay, that's a little uh, silicone nose guard. So, uh, and, oh, okay, right. So we have a charging cable and a charger. I think, um, let's have a look what's on this little box here. Ugh. Okay, yeah. So just little uh, wrist straps for the bottom of the controllers. You can put this to the side, but as you can see, Pretty normal stuff there. And this looks what I'd imagine would be a yeah, spacer for glasses. So if you need to uh, push those um, the actual facial interface out a bit further, then you can use this bracket. That's interesting. You can see um, it's magnetized on there. Well, that's good. That's nice. I like that. That's good to see. And let's see what's in here. Okay. Just your manual and all that sort of stuff. So we won't worry about that for now. Let's put it out of the way and uh, put the nose guard out of the way as well. And bring this into view. So really exciting guys. Um, yeah, I'm really interested to find out what this is like because um, it is a really, really small form factor headset. You know, it's only that wide it's brilliant. I like the look of the size of it. Super light, that's nice as well. Let's get the controllers out and take the box out of the way. Let's uh, test out these controllers first in my hands. That's very comfortable. Yeah, they fit my hands nicely, look at that. So uh, ergonomically designed, so my hands do grip around them very comfortably. Uh, so the ring here is for the sensors. So there's cameras on here, which we'll get to in a moment and they will uh, track the motion of the controllers. So basically inside out tracking controllers and take that hatch open in the moment, but there's, you can, there's a little bit of heft to them. So there's batteries in there. So joysticks, buttons, and a couple of sort of menu type buttons there and trigger and a little kind of button grip there as well. They feel really comfortable, that's really nice. I like those. Let's uh, have a look inside here. Yeah. Oh, that's smart. That's very smart. So it comes with, uh, it's got a couple of uh, AA batteries in here already inserted. But that's a really nice system there. Let me just show you how this works because there's a little latch there and you just pop that and it's spring loaded. Oh, well, they're really good. So access to the batteries is fantastic. So there's a little kind of spring there which pushes up the battery compartment and you can swap them out. So they're gonna have, you know, quite a few hours on these batteries. Yeah. It's really good. Um, so I do know these controllers do have uh, haptics as well. 
So that's nice. But let's have a look at this bad boy. I mean, the first thing I can tell out of the box is it is really, really lightweight. And the balance is absolutely perfect. Now this is really impressive out of the box because that's gonna add comfort, that's gonna really help maintain comfort. So I can tell you some things about this, guys, um, as I haven't used it, but I have some notes I can tell you about this headset. Uh, first thing is using sort of like a very much next gen modern um, lenses on here. They are, let's take these little protectors off out of the way. Um, they're using pancake lenses. Now it's a special type of lens which enables the actual um, the actual screens to be really close in and this allows it to be like super slim line. So look at that. That is the headset and the rest is the facial interface which I think will pop off, probably be magnetic, I'm assuming now. Oh, that's lovely. Is that magnetic? It just pop in. That doesn't seem, okay, that doesn't seem to be magnetic on there. I mean, maybe that's just for the, but you've got a little couple of pins there, but that comes, that pops in nicely. It's very smooth. Oh yeah, I think there is magnets. Yeah, they're certainly magnetized, so they're hidden away behind the frame there. You can see that, they kind of pulls in. That's really good quality, I like that. So, I mean, look how easy that is to pull off and put on. Super easy, I like that. Um, we'll come to the facial interface in a moment there, because actually that's really nice as well. But look at those lenses. I mean, really nice big lenses as well. There is an adjustment somewhere here. I'm not sure if it's uh, mechanical or some sort of motorized movement of the, but you can adjust the IPD from 62 millimeters to 72. So that's the you know distance between your pupils. There is um, a little bit of protection here. So let's just take this off. Okay. So resolution per eye is 2160, so 2160 times 2160, which is really high. It's really going to be should be really sharp. I'm this going to I'm sure the picture is going to be absolutely excellent with these, and uh, has eight gigabytes of RAM. Wi-Fi 6, so uh, that's you can that's for like playing your standalone games, downloading games to the headset, and also for PC VR gaming, you can do it wirelessly, um, or via the actual USB, so you can hardwire that to your PC as well. So these are things I will be testing, so let's uh, take some of this stuff off as well. Um, other noticeable feature that I'm aware of is battery is in the back, in the head strap here, so it's a 5,300 milliamp hour battery, which should is good for two to two and a half hours of gameplay. But I will test that, so we'll find out. Yeah, I'll find out for myself. And field of view, if I haven't mentioned it already, is listed as 105 degrees. But yeah, take all these bits off, so you can just see the headset as it should be. So if we take a look at this interface actually, put that to the side there, it's a it's a foam with a fabric cover over the top. So have a look at that. And that feels really soft. And you can see there is space for glasses as well for the side, so there you go. These are just reading glasses I don't normally need to use. Um, glasses for VR, but I might give it a go, but look, look at that, they fit perfectly well, that's good. But I love the material here. Just um, very soft, smooth, and a nice kind of, you know, against your skin type of, you know, woven fabric there. So that's great quality, that is fantastic. Let's put that back on there. Let's have a look at the back. So you've got the head strap here for support. The strap is rigid. And um, there'll be a wire going from one side, or maybe both, I don't know, but there is a battery in the back there. And that just gives it almost another piece of tape there. Let's remove that. Satisfying, isn't it? And have a look at there. So, head strap adjustment. 
that's smooth and it locks in. So when it's locked in place, it just stays there. And Velcro for the head strap, for the top strap. But a nice rigid frame. At the back here is sort of a, again, it's a foam, but with a, I don't know, maybe PVC sort of cover over the back. So you can see there is softness there and a bit more rigid at this point there, but soft on the edges. Got to have one of these. I forgot so many of these little uh, things protecting the headset. Let's remove the lock. I think that's the final one. Should be anyway. We'll find out in a moment. Uh, but um, there's a front facing camera there. So that's full color. And we have the tracking cameras. I'm assuming that's just for um, the pass through so you can catch, can see out into the real world and the rest are for tracking. Um, don't know what that is. I don't know if that's just for vent hole for cooling maybe. And uh, those will be uh, for the microphones. So dual microphones. And around the back here on the strap somewhere there will be speakers. It might be, might be there. Might be those things there, but speakers are built into the head strap here. And what can we see here? Volume control is there on that arm. And that is of course, got a pivot point there. But yeah, out of the box, this is looking really, really nice. I like the weight of it. I certainly like the size of it. Having been someone who's used VR for several years now, I do appreciate the comforts of um, something which is going to be lightweight and small. And this is really is the smallest um, headset I've used in a long time. So this is looking really nice. And there you go, guys. That is my brief unboxing. I don't know. Maybe it's a long unboxing. I don't know of the Pico 4, but, um, you know, I'm experiencing it live on camera, guys. I'm recording it live to camera uh, just to give you my impressions of it. And I have to say, this is very, very nice. Looks really good quality. Love the weight of it. Yeah, so far so good. Looking looking good. Okay, guys, there's going to be a uh, review coming up and other Pico 4 related videos. I have plans for this device. And um, I will uh, drop links in the description when those are available as well. But yeah, so stick around. But for now, that is my unboxing for the Pico 4. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.